Hey everyone, Kevin from mechanicaladvantage.com. Got a question uh, in the comments section on one of my last videos from Nathaniel. And what Nathaniel wanted to know is how would you place a hole on the top face of the cylinder that was a given distance from the outside diameter of the cylinder? So I thought I would do a video to show you how to do that. We're gonna need a couple uh, tools here. We're gonna create a sketch with a point uh, a couple points and then we're going to use the project geometry projected geometry command as well so I'll go and I'm going to go to the sketch and choose point from this menu and I'm going to choose the top face of the cylinder and then I'm going to click the point somewhere don't really care where I put that we're going to fix that location in just a minute so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back to the sketch menu go to the project include and say project and we're going to click on the outside edge of the circle and now you can see that pink uh, circle that's there that's the projection of the cylinder underneath it into our sketch and we can go ahead and hit click OK so now I want to precisely locate this point and the way that I'm going to do that is first I'm going to use our horizontal and vertical constraint to go from the center point uh, to the other to the point and now you can see that I put them in line if I grab this point and move it around I can move it left and right but I can't move it vertically what I would maybe do in a program like Inventor now is I would go and I would start the sketch and go to dimension and I would click on this point and the outside diameter of the circle and it would give me the value I wanted and I'd be done. However, the Fusion Sketch Engine doesn't have that capability yet. So, little workaround we can do, not too bad. We're just going to place another sketch point. So I'm going to go to sketch and point. And to, I want the sketch to be on the outside diameter of our circle. So when I get close, you can see that the little icon next to my mouse, mouse changes to let me know that I'm on that, that circle right there. I'm coincident to it, and when I do, I can just click it. So now, if I grab the sketch point and move it around, you can see it's locked on the outside diameter of the circle. So all I have to do again is use my horizontal and vertical constraint to go between the center point and that, and now you can see we've precisely located this point in space. Now we can use that to go f to do a sketch dimension again, to go from the point to the other point, and now I can put in that two inch value that he was looking for. We'll stop our sketch, we'll go to mod uh, create, and we'll say hole, choose that point that we just created, adjust the diameters and depths, and there's the hole uh, placed two inches away from the outside edge of the circle. Uh, Nathaniel, I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments again. Thank you.